Hi, I am Manasmita. Welcome to Sai Edufai. Today's lesson is diversity of living and non-living things. What we will learn in this chapter? What is diversity? What is classification? How can we show classification? What are living and non-living things? What do living things need? What are other characteristics of living things? First, we will learn about what diversity is. There are many things around us. Some are living things and others are non-living things. Example here shows living things such as human, a tree, a dog, a bug, a bird, a fish and non-living things such as a car, a ball, books, balloon, a chair, a clock. Diversity refers to the great variety of living things and non-living things around us. What is classification? Grouping things based on their similarities means characteristics that things have in common is called classification. We can classify things based on their features, also known as characteristics. Example, size, shape and color. Look at here. We can classify things by color. How can we show classification? We can show classification in different ways. We can present our classification by using pictures, a table, a graphic organizer. The animals below can be classified based on their wings. We can show the classification using pictures. Animals with wings, animals with no wings, an ostrich, an eagle, a parrot, they have wings, a cat, an elephant, a fish, they do not have wings. We can show the classification using a table. Animals with wings, animals with no wings. Here, ostrich, eagle, parrot with wings in one group. Cat, elephant, fish with no wings in another group. We can also show the classification using a graphic organizer. Animals with wings, with no wings, with wings eagle, parrot, cat and elephant, they do not have wings. A flowchart is a common graphic organizer. It is important to know how to read a flowchart correctly. Look at the flowchart. In a flowchart here, this symbol has a yes or no question. The answers to the questions help us classify the things. The question is, do they have wings? No, means elephant, cat, fish. These animals do not have wings. Yes means eagle, ostrich, and parrot, 
they have wings. Now we will learn about what are living and non-living things. Living and non-living things are found all around us. Living things are alive. Non-living things are not alive. We can classify things around us into living things and non-living things. These are living things. These are non-living things. What do living things need? Living things need air, water and food to stay alive. If living things do not have air, water or food, they will die. Air. Living things need air to stay alive. Living things take in air which contains oxygen. Animals that live on land breathe in air from their surroundings. Animals that live in water have special body parts to help them get air. Plants also need air to stay alive. Then water. Living things need water. We drink water to carry out our daily activities. We need water to clean our body. We need to drink water to digest food. Plants need water to make food. Next is food. Living things need food to stay alive. Food gives living things energy. Food also helps living things to grow. Animals eat food that is suitable for them. Plants do not eat food. But they can make their own food when there is light. What are other characteristics of living things? Living things can grow. Living things can reproduce. Living things respond to change. Living things can grow. They increase in size. Living things also become more complex as they grow. For example, when babies can grow into toddlers, they have more hair and longer legs and arms. Animals need to eat food to help them grow. Plants make their own food by using light to grow. Next is living things can reproduce. This means that they can have their young. They reproduce to ensure the survival of their kind. If they do not reproduce, they would become extinct. Some animals reproduce by giving birth to their young. Some animals reproduce by laying eggs. The young hatch out of the eggs. Plants can reproduce too. Some plants reproduce through seeds. Some reproduce through spores. Then 
living things respond to changes. They respond to changes around them. As we can see in this picture, when bright light is shown into our eyes, our eyelids will shut immediately. Shutting our eyelids in bright light prevents too much light from entering our eyes and damaging them. The ability to respond to changes in our environment helps to protect us from danger and keeps us safe. Plants are also able to respond to changes in the environment. Here in this picture, the mimosa plant folds its leaves to protect itself from harm. The leaves will reopen again after a few minutes. The folding of the leaves is an example of a living thing responding to changes. Today we have learned about diversity of living and non-living things. The upcoming video is about questions and answers. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video. And subscribe to Sci Edify and hit the notification bell to stay updated with latest videos.